I never thought I would be doing a review for an anime, but since it's fate, I'll let it pass. Just don't think it will become a common thing in this channel. Okay, the episodes start. You're seeing people dying left and right, and I'm seeing people killing monsters, and two saber are fighting each other. And that got me confused for a little because, like in the other, like, fates, it would have only like one saber, one assassin, and like different classes or whatever. But apparently, in this fate, there's gonna be seven servants versus seven other servants. Which I love, by the way, it's freaking awesome. It's like, it's pretty different than the norm. Also, I have to explain that this is from a, like another timeline? Not a timeline, but like a different outcome. I don't know how to explain it well, but it's basically if Fate Stay Night never happened. I hope I got that right because I'm still new to the series. There's some stuff that confuses me. I only seen the animes. Well, the recent one. I didn't see the the old Fate Zero anime. I only see the new one and Unlimited Blade. I know that Heaven's Field is gonna come out soon. Well, not soon. In 2018, sadly. But it's like a not a different outcome to Unlimited Blade. But let's say he did different choices and decided to hang out with that purple hair girl, I forgot her name. <laughs> I'll just say things would have been different. But okay, now I'm just explaining stuff you guys maybe know already. The thing I have to say is that the animation is done by a different company. It is by A1 Pictures. They've done shows like Sword Art Online, Sword Art Online 2, uh, Anno Exorcist, uh, Fairy Tale, and The Race. Which I don't really mind too much, since right now they're doing actually a pretty good job in my opinion. So yeah, that's just to tell you if you didn't know. I hope they do a pretty good job anyway, because the company who made a uh, well, Unlimited Blade and Fate Night, that shit got me hyped. When I saw the animation, I lost my shit. Like, I never seen this uh, beautiful animation as Fate. I was like, I was crying, man. Yeah, so the animation is okay. The story is pretty going, it's going pretty fast. Like, I remember Fate Zero, um, it took like two episodes so they can uh, summon the servants. And those two episodes were mad long. They were like 48 minutes each. Holy shit. <laughs> but in this one, it was pretty fast. It didn't last two episodes like in Fate Zero. I remember in Fate, I had problem remembering like the characters, the masters and servants. Down that there's 14 of them, I'm gonna have a lot of trouble. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's gonna be a lot of action. It's gonna be cool. Can we talk about Shiro a little bit? Like, I already found Shiro a badass in Limited Blade Works. That was freaking awesome, but... His design in this fate is so f freaking cool. I like, I don't know why I like people with white hair. It's just so awesome. He doesn't look like Archer too much, but he looks like the spiky hair. It's like, ah, it's, it's, it's just so cool. It's like, I'm fanboying like a faggot right now. He seems like Shiro to me, so I'm calling him Shiro. I know he has a different last name now. Uh, that's all I know. I wonder if he's still obsessed with justice. That would be cool to find out. Like, one of the groups are using kids, or I don't know, kids, but humans, so they can have infinite amount of mana. And that's pretty crazy because now they can spam their noble phantasm. <laughs> it seems like it's like an online game. Now they can start spamming their special moves. And you know how a noble phantasm is freaking broken. Anyway, I think I'll end it there because I'm very bad at explaining stuff. This is why I don't want to do anime reviews. And how I'm a hypocrite for saying anime reviews are like not original, and now I'm doing it now. <laughs> anyway, whatever. If we're gonna talk about one last thing, I like how she said the exact same words as like Saber from the Unlimited and Night series, like the normal Saber. Uh, are you my master? The way she seems to talk is like she seems cocky or like feisty. I don't know how to say it, but like she seems a beat. She kind of reminds me of, like, Saber, well, the first Saber. So that's why I went on online to check some information on her. And I was pretty surprised with what I seen. I'm not gonna say it now, because obviously I think that's, like, spoilers. I think they'll tell us, like, later on the other episodes. So yeah. Anyway, I think I'll end it here. I did not want to make anime reviews since I'm very bad at explaining compared to other YouTubers or, like, other people. And I don't have all, like, I don't know anything everything about the series since I'm still kind of new so it was like I was hesitating of doing it but I'm just gonna go with it you guys will explain me in the comments I guess or like correct me if I say something wrong I wanted to stand out when doing anime content but I guess now I'm doing reviews just don't expect it to be an often thing 
I guess I would do it with certain shows that are like my favorites, like Fate. So yeah, don't expect it to be a normal thing in my channel. I still want to do anime content, but like anime content that like stands out, not reviews. But yeah, let's see how well it does. I'll try my best to do make them enjoyable, I guess. Anyway, thanks for everything, and like always, stay cool.